Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Game for the ladies. Look for the light in a man. Check it out, right? Um, very beautiful uh, friend of mine. She sends me um, different videos and, you know, sometimes we chop it up. And she does what a woman, uh, where she, she provides for me what a woman really needs to be providing for a man who's about his business, right? She gives him some game. And not in a bossy way, but just chopping it up with her. She gives a perspective. That's one thing women have to understand. A man makes love to a woman's mind. I mean, to a woman's body, but a woman makes love to a man's mind. You know, y'all think it's supposed, y'all be supposed to be playing some seeds. But, you know, I'm going to keep emphasizing that. But the way to plant the seeds is in a peaceful way. Like, any king needs a queen. And the queen provides, the queen doesn't rule the king, but the queen, she plays a role and provides advice. So, you know, the sister does that. And, you know, she sent me some videos, always increases my knowledge. And she sent me a video from uh, Zoe Williams, right? And it was from his Voice of Reason show. It was, uh, it was broadcast on August 26, 2015, right? And the topic was about alpha male harems and, you know, women, you know, some women who need multiple men. But I'm not I'm not going to get into that aspect of the topic. Right. I'm not going to get into that aspect. That's a, that's a totally different thing. But at one point and I have it in the description box in the point where his brother came in named Hustle. Right. He came in and he made, he made some comments. But then the comment that struck me was. He had advice, some simple advice for ladies, right? He said, don't look for the light on a man, but look for the light in a man. And I was like, damn. I had, I had to stop the video, get up and walk around a bit. I mean, I put on my coat, got my keys. I walked around outside. My neighbors probably thought I was crazy. I was just talking to myself. I was like, damn, that, that. They, that, that stopped, as old Shay Duke Jackson would say, that stopped the show. <laughs> I was like, damn. Good God. That, but that was some powerful ass stuff. That was some powerful ass st- stuff. And, you know, it kind of reminded me of a quote. Um, well, most of y'all will never like see the inside of my place. But, you know, for the few who did, they know I keep, like, like on my wall by, you know, my computer. I keep, you know, a calendar. I keep these sayings up and, you know, pictures of my sons and everything. Lots of pictures of my sons. All right. Yeah. <laughs> my main thing is fatherhood. My, that's my main thing. If I have a choice between taking my son somewhere and getting with some hot woman, well, that hot woman got to wait. But I digress, right? But on my wall is something that is I, I take as an anthem, right? I take as an anthem, and I'm, I'm going to read it to you. All right, let me, let me read this quote for y'all, all right? It's, like, it's kind of a little, little, little bit long one, but y'all see the point once I finish, right? I am not who you think I am. If you love me, you love me for the wrong reasons. Females tell me they love me because I'm tall. They love when I stand over them and look down. They love when I lay them down and my height and body weight dominates them. Females tell me they love me because I'm pure black. They say they've never seen a black man so masculine, so pretty, so beautiful before. Females say they love my eyes. They're jet black too. Women claim they find a passion in them so forceful that they'll do anything I say. Females tell me they love my body. They beg me for a hug even when there's nothing between me and them. They want to be captured in my embrace and press their breast against my chest. Some females ask, ask if they can touch me. Some tremble when my hands touch them. They say they love the muscles in my arms. They surrender when I lift them up. They whine and moan in rapture. Some cry their pleasure. Some shake. Some pee. Some even say they love the way my teeth look in my mouth. And how my feet look in my kicks. Females tell me they love the way I walk. Like I'm soon to own the world. 
Most females say they love that I'm quiet. They shiver when I finally talk. All the women show me that they love my guns. The fact that I walk with two of them at times. Even the ones who get scared fall in love with their fear of me. Then they come at me even harder. I can't lie. I enjoy the good times that some of these women offer me. But I don't take them at heart. I know that they really don't even know me. All that shit they in love with are just my style and my looks. All window dressings. I know that a man has his own beliefs, his own ideas and actions. If you know me, you know what I believe. If you know what I believe, you would understand how I think. You would understand my ideas and actions. Only then should you decide. Either you believe what I believe or you admire what I believe and want to get with those beliefs. If not, in the long run, in the long run, we got nothing in common. I can't take you seriously. I got to go. You got nothing that makes me want to stay. Now, that passage is from uh, Midnight, A Gangster Story, A Gangster Love Story, uh, copyright 2008 by Sister Soldier. Some people might remember... Uh, Midnight from the Coldest Winter Ever. You know, got a whole series. Very good book. One of the few literary characters I can identify with. One of the very few, really. You know. But, I'm going to tell you what. Too often, women get caught up on the surface. They get caught up on the light on a man. You know. They get caught up into his looks. You know, they get caught up into his looks, his style. You know, he got those shine shoes, you know. He got that, like, blinging watch, he, you know, nice ring. You know, the clothes fitting right on his physique. And all, all that's cool. You know what? All that is cool. All that is normal. But what happens when you get past it? Now, I know some women, some women are mature, and they'll say, you know what? He was all right till he opened his mouth. Okay. Those are the ones who already know. This, ain't, this is just a refresher course for them. They're nodding their heads as they listen to this. But many, many, many women, and I talk to a lot of them. I talk to a lot of y'all just in the ordinary course of the day. I interact with so many. So many get so caught up into that that they don't see what's un underneath. They look at that light on the surface, but not the light underneath. And many men don't have a light. They don't have a light to give. You got, that, you got caught up into the shiny thing, but that was just a reflection. That was an image, a mirage. Too many women get caught up into that, but then they don't see the light within. They don't, you know, they don't even know to look for it until, you know, what they, they left with garbage, multiple children, multiple mental issues, emotional issues, you know, a busted self-esteem. They... You know, too many, too many. Then when they're older, they realize the mistake. Then the men who had the light, the men who had the light within them, they see those men happy with other women, you know, because they've moved on. One of the things is, okay, the surface is good. That's just the attraction. You know, that attracts you over. That attracts us all. But it's getting beneath it. And even though this is game for the ladies, I know men are listening too. That's the same thing. And I, I'm going to speak. I'm going to put it out there. I ain't going to act like just women do this. People who know me. People who know me. I'm famous for being a loafer, brother. I, was, I, tell, you, I tell everybody, I love a fat ass. But ironically, the women I get along with the best, the ones whose light I'm attracted to, and that spirit, the ones who have it like that, don't necessarily have a fat ass. They just good, but it's the light and it's light within. That's what I look for. The fat ass just gets me over there, but if I see darkness in the soul, I get away from it. But see, too many women, they get caught up. And I mean, it'd be, it would be great to say this is just young and inexperienced women. This would be great, but sadly, sadly, I have met so many women who are in their 50s, got grand, multiple grandchildren. Who's still judging a man on his surface? You know? They judging on how good he look, that smile, everything. And then they wonder why they have problems. Why they can't get it. Why they can't seem to find the one they want. Because they're not looking for the light within. 
I'm going to tell you something with me. That quote I just read from uh, Sister Soldier's book, the reason I have it on my wall, because on a personal level, even though I'd be modest about it, a lot of women say they like how I look over the years. A lot of women, even now, I'm 53, but a lot of women, I tell them I'm 53, they say get out. Even with the gray and stuff, they always think I'm younger, right? And, you know, anytime somebody shows that interest, I just look and just, you know, I just say thank you. But if somebody gushes over it, I'm like, really? You know, find out where my character's at. In fact, when I was younger, it, it used to get on my nerves so much, I used to tell women they'd be ready to go right away. It's ironic, you got guys trying to get sex from women, and I got women trying to hand me the sex. I'm like, hold up, baby, hold up. Why don't you stop for a second, you know? Stop for a second. Why don't you satisfy yourself I'm not a knucklehead? Seriously. And I know some guys that have a problem with, with listening will have a problem with that because they, they trying to get it. And it's like, no, nah, it's a different view when it's handed to you. Then you have a different uh, perception. But that's a whole other thing. In fact, I'm, I'm going to talk about that. <laughs> I'm going to talk about that in a video for men. But, you know, it's uh, the thing from a personal perspective that really, when a woman talks more about some personality traits she sees in me, then, you know, she like my eyelashes or she like my eyes or she like my body bill or she like my face or teeth or whatever. That actually does more for me. That actually does more for me. In fact, you know, I'm going to be honest. I like kind of where I'm at now because now women ain't focusing on as much on the outer as they are on the inner. You know, because that's what ultimately what counts. That's what ultimately what a woman has to look for. She has to look for that light. Because once a woman starts looking for that light within, a lot of the stuff will disappear. You know, stop looking for that light on the outside. That's how women are getting burned. That's how you're missing a lot of gems. There's a lot of dudes out here who, you know what? Their outer appearance is average. You know, they're not the most stylish. You know, might not have that swag. But these are the strong men that you want. These are the men who, you know, they're going to have that character. They're going to stick through. And quite frankly, these are the men who are actually going to make love to you and make an effort to make sure that you are satisfied. Let me say that again. <laughs> On a, just, a, just a pure cold blood level, those guys who, you know, those are guys who are going to be motivated. Those are guys who are going to see you as a queen. They're going to be motivated and make sure you're satisfied. The surface dude ain't going to do it. Because why? He got plenty of women throwing. He don't have to, like, make an effort to, like, satisfy one if there's three more in the background. You know, look for that light within. And you know what? Honestly, like I said, it's actually normal to be attracted to that outer thing. It's normal. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't let it stop there. Do not let it stop there, okay? So anyway... That's it for the ladies, right? That's it. Yeah, I'll, I'll get that women's channel started at some point, you know. I probably won't be, like, posting every day or something. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff, and like I say, my sons are my priority. So, anyway, that's it for today. Peace and blessings.